welcome again guys and in this tutorial we will be talking about uh, the process of uh, chicken embryology and obviously uh, the two important processes of chicken embryology that is uh, one is cleavage another one is a gastrulation remind you we have already been discussed about gastrulation what is gastrulation and how it is going on and, and in detail so in this uh, videos we, we won't be talking about them in detail anymore we'll be just talking about anything unique about those gastrulation process that we talked before right so here we'll be talking about so let 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 me write we'll be uh, looking at cleavage and gastrulation of cheek okay so once we uh, talk about them this one minute so yeah okay so so let's begin so cleavage uh, actually remember you uh, that in the first video of introduction I've talked about before that how this cleavage gastrulation and everything is related they are connected with each other so I recommend you to go back to see that first then come back in this video to talk about it so so cleavage occurs after the formation of zygote because uh, fertilization takes place and fertilization takes place in the infundibulum and after that uh, five hours later cell division begins so when the cell division begins we will begin with our zygote here to a number of chromosomes this is our zygote or this is our kind of developing embryo we can tell now this zygote will start dividing right now the division uh, is, is kind of called the cleavage because the pattern of division is different from uh, for cheek for frog they are different right now in this case of chicken actually imagine this as a 3d it's imagine this as a small ball now the division begins at at the top region at this top uh, surface region and all of the division for this cleavage gas uh, cleavage of chicken occurs in in longitudinally not horizontally always this longitudinal way so if we begin with this this idea that the first division takes place top from the middle like this okay so if I draw it if I draw it like this and if I make a cut a, a 3d drawing of how it is cutting it is cutting it via sorry so let me draw a small yeah. it is cutting it this is the way of cutting right so this is kind of cutting it from a section and what we get from here we get kind of uh, kind of two sections apart but actually for this uh, cleavage process to occur this is not a complete cut like that instead this cut what we see instead we see a top cut only that is simply division from this top region not at this direction right because this is a kind of cleavage that we see is not a complete cleavage it never dissociates two section of a cell from each other the cells are getting cleaved but though they are cleaved they are they are being all together for for long time this kind of cleavage are called incomplete cleavage incomplete sir incomplete cleavage or faro incomplete cleavage or faro right so formation of faro is occurring to the to the upper region of this chicken egg right so that's the first thing to occur so after this first far is going on let's draw here what is what will be going on so sorry so let's draw a circle here yeah so let's say the first far during the first far what we can see we can see a kind of cleavage so let's let's talk about from the top view if we are looking at this cleavage from the top view we can see first cleavage like this from the top now if the second cleavage occurs 90 degree of the first cleavage and it is exactly uh, similar like this first one which is also an inc incomplete furrow so first cleavage is an in incomplete furrow second cleavage is also an incomplete furrow but it is it is in 90 degree angle with the first furrow that's the important property about the second furrow right so in the second case we will look something like this okay so the second case we can see a furrow coming like this from the top view so now previously after this cleavage of one furrow what we get the number of cells we get is two from one cell number of cell becomes two right 
after the second furrow the number of cell becomes 1 2 3 4 so number of cell becomes 4 now right so 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 far so good right so first cleavage incomplete formation of furrow not separating the cells apart second cleavage also same type like the first one incomplete cleavage uh, of uh, or incomplete furrow it's long it's kind of 90 degree angle and it's also longitudinal so after that again four cells are prepared but four of the cells are arranged together will with each other right now the third the third phase and the third cleavage that we have seen the third phase here from this third phase the cleavage starts to occur very 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 fast and sooner it starts to form 16 cell 16 cells and then finally 32 cells now when they reach 32 cells this is the phase when we call our embryo as blast blastocyte okay so that's that's why it's a very very rapid division then so it's very hard to monitor all these processes but this third from this third one third one also start to occur in in a, another way so you can see the third furrow so let me change a color for the third furrow that is the red now this third furrow start to occur from this orientation so we get another division like this so all of these divisions are kind of longitudinal process then rest of the division starts to occur like this like this these divisions start to occur in all direction and finally from many divisions we get a cluster of cells so remember how it look like the first cell is there one from one we are looking cells like this from there we are looking cells like this four cells formation from there we are looking cells 16 then 35 so many number of cells start to form like this so you can see a longitudinal section one sections are cleaving like this then another cleaving like both orientation and then finally number of cells reach 32 right and form blastocyte once the blastocyte is formed then the blastocyte will mature they produce blastocele uh, which is a hollow chamber there then finally it will mature and, and it will go for gastrulation process right so this is the overview of cleavage that we can see in case of chicken embryo remember first one and two are kind of same incomplete cleavage third one from third one and and so on the cleavage start to occur and this these type of cleavages are kind of complete cleavage and they start to produce cells like this but never throughout this cleavage they never separate out all the cells from each other so though the cells are getting divided but the but still cells are hold all together throughout the time they are hold all together that's a fact they are not being separated from each other right so that's that's all about the cleavage guys for uh, chicken and that's it